Free your mind with Moose Girl and Grimnir every Thursday night at 7 p.m. Eastern right here on RealLibertyMedia.com. Oh, yeah, it's the Free Your Mind Show, folks. Welcome, welcome, welcome right here live on RealLibertyMedia.com and RLMRadio.xyz. This news just in, Joe Biden is the best president ever. What? April <laughs> Fool's. <laughs> April oh. Fool's. <laughs> okay, Graham. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> anyway, folks, welcome to the show. This is episode <laughs> five of Free Your Mind. And today's program is entitled, uh, oh, on this, uh, uh, yeah, I already said it was April Fool's, didn't I? Uh, right. uh, <laughs> the today's program is entitled, Remember What the Dormouse Said. Some of you may get that reference. Right. Some of you may not. Uh, but uh, but uh, let, let me just share the entire song with you as in spoken word by me. Okay. The, the, the song is called White Rabbit. It's originally by Jefferson Airplane. There's been some great covers of that song. Uh, Grace Potter, when it comes yeah. to mind. Uh, <laughs> Haley Ryan, Haley oh. Ryan, Haley Reinhardt does a great version. Uh, yeah. Anyway, the song, White Rabbit. One pill makes you larger, and one pill makes you small. And the ones that mother gives you don't do anything at all. Go ask Alice when she's ten feet tall. And if you go chasing rabbits and you know you're going to fall, tell them a hookah-smoking caterpillar has given you the call. Call Alice when she was just small. When the men on the chessboard get up and tell you where to go, and you've just had some kind of mushroom, and your mind is moving low, go ask Alice. I think she'll know. When logic and proportion have fallen sloppy dead, and the white knight is talking backwards, and the red queen's off with her head. Remember what the dormouse said. Feed your head. <laughs> Feed your head. Feed your head. And, and yeah, if, man. And if you don't understand what feed your head means, <laughs> then, then you probably never fed your head. Uh, it's probably a, not. It's a it's a it's a different kind of thing, a special kind of thing uh, yeah. that that you can do with a a variety of substances. Right. Really nice ones too. Mhm. Mm yeah, because you don't want to feed your head the bad crap. You want to feed it the good crap, good stuff. Stuff like that mushroom, that some kind of mushroom. Some kind of mushroom, not the not the ones that'll kill you though. No, 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 no. That would, those would be wrong and bad. Right, uh, the magic mushroom, the psilocybin mushroom, psilocybin. or the Amanita muscaria mushroom. Yeah, or there's a variety of different kinds that that'll work. Right, doesn't have to be the Amanita, uh, right. or 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 other chemical substances such as LSD. Uh, right. Will work, or, or natural substances like peyote. Those those will work just fine. They, these are all head feeders. They are mind expanders. Right. Anybody out there ever done these kind of things? Anybody ever enjoyed <laughs> those kind of uh, different substances for uh, feeding their head? And uh, know what that's all about? I have. Moose has. Yeah, I have. Him. What's that? Have you? <laughs> oh, on an occasion or twelve thousand. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I used to do LSD all the time. It was wonderful. Okay. Um, <laughs> and, and you know, I, I did plenty of mushrooms too. Yeah, 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 yeah. We used to we used, yep. to, we used to go out hunting the mushrooms out in the mm -hmm. uh, places where we we'd have to sneak out there in, in the weird hours so that they because it was like on a private ranch you know 
Um, mm-hmm. <laughs> and so the right. ranchers, ranchers would come out there in their trucks tra- chasing us off. <laughs> we'd go running out with our baggies full of mushrooms. <laughs> 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 we'd collect it out there. Um, but yeah, yeah. So that, that was fun. Um, yeah. 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 I man. was, I was just, I was, I was at having dinner last night and there was a, you know, regular TV was on and there was a commercial. I can't remember what it was for, but the guy, they show a guy holding a mushroom and it's the, the red with the white dots on it's mm-hmm. the Amon, Amanita muscaria. Right. And I'm like, they still use that in a, that's a huge symbol, um, symbol that they still use. And if people really knew what it was, which I'm sure most people don't know what that is, but um, it's, it's like a psychedelic mushroom. <laughs> very. It's a very psychedelic. It's a, it's a great right? one. And they, uh, they use it in um, a lot of advertising around Christmas time too. And on Christmas cards and everything. Yeah. And uh, what, of course, from what I understand, the fol- folklore is, that there was this dude called St. Nicholas, like in Europe. Right. And he around the Christmas season, he would go to people's houses and bring, like, the kids' oranges mm-hmm. and bring the adult these mushrooms. Oh, nice. So that's what people, that's how people kind of celebrated, you know. Sure, they sure. Get, they get high, <laughs> high on these shrooms and trip <laughs> out. <laughs> that's, that's, that's a great way to celebrate, yeah. I would say, yeah, yeah, yeah for your, sure. Your kids are all occupied with their new toys and stuff, and right, you're taking a little trip, and you're still hanging around. Well, this yeah. was back in the day, Graham. Like there wasn't no, it wasn't like it is now with the toys. You know what I mean? Well, I know, like but, an orange. Well, the, the kids like the oranges that they got. <laughs> or you know, some times of them, were tough, dude. <laughs> you know, some of them probably got like little wooden figures. Oh yeah, yeah, things like that. You know. Uh, they, I'm sure kids had got toys as as well as some produce. Oh, sure. Yep. <laughs> yeah. But that was kind of like a rare thing to have an orange apparently back in the day. Yeah, yeah. So that's yeah. just my understanding. But if people, when they see that mushroom, they don't they don't put that two and two together. You know what I mean? Right. No, that most of them. It's a hallucinogenic don't. mushroom. They just, oh, it's red. It's a Christmas thing. Right. It's just decoration. <laughs> You know, yeah, but you, that's where the flying reindeer came from. Yeah, how do you those like, reindeer they, love them mushrooms, and they when they eat them, they get high too, and they start like dancing around and stuff. So that's why you know. Right, right. You hear about the flying reindeer? Sure, they were flying all right. They were just oh still, yeah, they were flying high, baby. <laughs> they, they were still on the ground, but they were flying. Yeah. <laughs> yes, they were, and I have had that feeling when imbibing on certain substances um i don't know someone's saying they can't get into our chat room that i don't know why try a different browser possibly um i don't know yeah um or uh it, it, it depends if they're trying to get in through the kiwi chat if if they're using a vpn uh kiwi right. does not kiwi doesn't allow vpn uh, right access that could be it. so uh if if you're listening uh just shut your vpn off for now and come on in or uh, install right. our, install a chat client, whatever. Um, it's open. It's working. So yeah, it should be working. Yeah. Um, anyway, I have had that sensation of you feel like you're flying. There, there they are. All right, they got in now. You know, have you, Grim? What felt like I was flying? You, yeah, when you were tripping out. I I I have been. I have been flying. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, I think that's a common like f- sensation that you feel when you know what I mean. I, 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 I the influence of certain things. Yeah, I, this one time I was, uh, I had a, like a condo with a couple other, three other guys, I mean, a four mm-hmm. bedroom condo. Um, a, anyway, so uh, uh, me and a buddy of mine were were, were tripping out one night there, and, um, and and we're hanging out there in the living room, and I was like, oh, Jeff's coming. And they're like, how do you know that? I said, I just saw, saw him. He's a, he's like three three miles away. He'll be here in five minutes. Wow. And they're, and they're like, what? Because I did. I mean, I, I, I've I seen the image of him in his little Volkswagen, blue, crappy-ass Volkswagen. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Coming up the road, I recognized the corner that he was on. 
And, um, uh, uh-huh. and, and, well, kind of uh, like a remote viewing thing. I, I, yeah, something like that. It was weird because, I mean, mm-hmm. um, he was bringing the weed. I, I think that was. Oh, uh, that's uh, why you uh, were wanting to know where he was. I was thinking, <laughs> yeah, I was thinking, where's that Jeff at? Yeah. Like, uh, hurry up, dude. <laughs> <laughs> so, so anyway, he pulls up. My friend's all, whoa. <laughs> no, I've seen, I've, I've, I've had a lot of good, um, uh, visualizations on, on uh, uh-huh. the, I mean, there, there's a lot of different types of, uh, psychedelics, um, that, that, that I've experienced, um, over the years. I used to live in this, uh, one area down there in San Diego called Mission Beach. And if you're, if you're yeah. not familiar with San Diego, you don't know, uh, Mission Beach is kind of like a biker zone. Where, where okay. all Hell's Angels kind of hang out down there, and um, mm-hmm. so there was unlimited amount of drugs you could get there. Um, okay. At, all the time, any time of day or night, didn't matter. Um, <laughs> that, there was places you could go. Nice. And, yeah, yeah, you could score whatever, man. Um, <laughs> and there was a great little head shop there, and there was a theater, theater there that played the uh, midnight shows on Friday nights, usually Rocky Horror, that kind of stuff, you know. Um Pig Floyd movies. Uh, yeah. Anyway. anyway. <laughs> um, where was I going with that? Uh, oh, I was just saying. There's all we used to get. You know, all kinds of various different types of blotter uh, that they right. had. Right. Okay. Um, with you know different stamps on them, and you would know what you were getting by the by the right the, the, the stamp that was on the little blotter thing. On the piece uh, of and paper. it was cheap. Yeah. It was like a, it was like a buck a hit. You know. Um, right. So for for a dollar, you could be flying for hours. Um, Nice. Yeah, yeah, those, those those were great. Uh, we had the window pane occasionally, uh, which okay. is just a different. I mean, it's, it's it's the same same acid, but it was on a different, on like a little, looked like a little piece of triangle plastic thing, but it wasn't actually oh, okay. plastic. It was something that dissolved, you know. Um, right. Yeah, I've had that before. Too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And okay. um, yeah. those were mostly the acid ones. And there was this uh, one time I was living up uh, uh, near this area. Uh, near called Balboa Park in central San Diego, uh, which is like yeah. where, the, where the zoo is and all that kind of stuff. Uh-huh. Um, anyway, the, the, my buddy who, who was my roommate there, um, he used to go cruising around on his bicycle through the parks at the middle of the night. And uh, he came back with this stuff and he said, this is something called D.O.B. And hmm. it was a different chemical. Um I don't know what it, exactly it was, but that stuff was amazing. Uh, <laughs> I, I I I never tripped like that before, uh, and that, that's yeah. I I had some nice. amazing. Uh, what do you call those? Uh, vision quest, where you where you see yeah. where you see your animal guide. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I was there. Cool. Yeah, I was there in this big canyon with this waterfall. What was the animal? A black panther. Oh, nice. And and was also uh, like this big hawk too. Oh, um, cool. So I I guess yeah. those are both my 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 spirit guides, or they or, or whatever. Uh, because I was I was conversing with them just like I am with you. Um, right. Yeah. And <laughs> I've had that sensation, but not with animals, but with something else. With a from not from this planet. Oh, okay, okay. It felt like that. Yeah, yeah. You know, I don't know if it was, I don't know. But I was given being given a lot of information. Right. You know, and I was just like, whoa. <laughs> you know, I mean, it felt <laughs> like I was having a conversation, but I wasn't actually, like, being told something. You know what I mean? Yeah, given, yeah. So, and you don't remember it? Uh, That was a long time ago. That was... That's happened to me a couple of different times on on mushrooms. See, they, they they could have been giving you the meaning of life or something. Right. Well, it did help to. I just well now they've said that mushrooms like help with depression. Sure. Like you could probably do, or you, and then a lot of people are doing like microdosing now. Right. Right. But if you had like one or two mushroom trips a year that would be beneficial as far as depression goes and stuff like that. Right. And everyone's different, you know, so you don't, you'd have to find out for yourself how many times you'd have to trip to battle depression if that's what you're about. You know what I mean? 
Yeah, yeah. But um, that's why they're like legalizing psilocybin mushrooms in Washington and Oregon, or Oregon for sure, I think. Yeah, um, yeah. But, you know, back in the day, people would be like, oh, yeah, take some magic mushrooms to cure depression. Yeah, right. No, it actually does help. Right. Well, you know. Been, uh, they've done studies. and We talked about that on Freakers. We've talked about, about that for a while before. We've sure. Been talking, you know, we have talked about that before. Now, oh, so, this, no, one, yep. this one friend of mine, um, mm-hmm. he's the only one I ever saw this happen to, but he freaked out. Uh, oh, no. we, we <laughs> that can happen. We we were doing shrooms and we we were driving uh, somewhere up like in Escondido when it was really hot that mm-hmm. day, and uh, we were going through some kind of fast food drive-through place there, and uh, and he's in the back seat, and uh, the car was really hot anyway. That was that was, that was Jeff's Volkswagen once again, okay. uh, which was had no AC or anything like that in it. No, and, no. In Escondido, it's an in, in inland town there in San Diego County. Right, and right. it gets really hot, especially in the middle of summer, of course. Yeah. Um, anyway, he, he started really just freaking out. But we, freaking out, we, yeah. we got we, we got away from there, went to a park, let, let him start to cool down, try to talk him, you know. Come down a little come, bit. Yeah, and he came out. He was fine after that. But, yeah. you know, we smoked a couple joints, and he was like, oh, that's better. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, <laughs> but, yeah, I've never seen anybody freak out like that before. Uh or since, yeah, but, uh, yeah. So uh, and here, here's the thing too. Um, mm-hmm. I, 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 I really enjoy uh, LSD and mm-hmm. uh, the tripping on it, but I know it's not for everyone. I know that no, it, it is not. It, no. If if you're mentally unstable to begin with, right? Um, or if you have probably shouldn't do it. Yeah, if you have demons, right? You know, in your head, that, yeah. Yeah. That that something that's always bothering you, 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 you yeah, you're best not to. Uh, you're, you're best to stay away from that because it could take it to some places that you don't want to be uh, if yeah. if, you, if you're already on the un, unstable uh, mindset. So um, right now, now I've never done done um, ayahuasca, but Me I, either. But I'd really love to. Um, I would. I'd try it. Oh yeah, I would absolutely. I, I would definitely. Um, I, I, is that the same as DMT, or is that something else? Well, it, uh, DMT is a, a a side benefit, I guess you should say, oh, of okay. ayahuasca. Um, but there's there's a other other things that that uh, produce the DMT as well. Uh, oh, not okay. not to your your brain produces DMT. Um, oh okay. Um, and uh, apparently, at least what they say or what I've read. Um, mm-hmm. Is that at the moment, like right before death, uh, okay. you, your brain releases a huge dose of DMT oh, okay. um, that lets you connect with the other side with where, where you're going? Um, okay. Uh, of course, uh, then there's those, you know, uh, non-believers in the other side. Uh, right. the, or the, the next life or whatever you want to call yeah, it. Yeah, whatever you want to call it. The, yeah. the, the non-physical uh, continuation of you. Um, yeah. So they say that you're not really seeing the other side. What you're seeing is is a you know basically an acid trip uh, caused okay. caused by the release of the DMT, which I don't buy that for a second. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, opium. Uh, oh yeah. Opium is is a powerful hallucinogenic as well. Yeah, um, and and I never did done straight pure opium, but we used to get Thai stick that was right. dipped in opium. Um, oh wow! Okay. Yeah, and and yeah, he'd smoke some of that boy, and whoo <laughs> <laughs> That was fun. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah, I don't even know if you get Thai stick anymore, um, but uh, uh, and probably certainly not the opium dipped. Yeah, you know, because those the the tie sticks you could see it when you're like unwrapping the string, you know. Um uh, you know, you're yeah. familiar with tie stick, right? It's a, it comes out of like a little four inch yep. stick, tie weed yep. wrapped with it like dental floss kind of stuff wrapped around it to hold it to the stick. Um but they would take those and they dip them in opium. Uh oh, okay. and then you could see like the, the little crystals hanging out there Ooh, on the weed. Okay. And uh, oh boy. Nice. That that's uh <laughs> that's, that's so fun. I remember doing so. We were at, there was like a uh, they used to have these uh, big uh, 
Fourth uh, of July picnic things at the public park uh, yeah. in, in the area where I lived, and um, and some guy came up and goes, "Hey man, you want you want to buy some weed?" Uh, and I was like, <laughs> it's probably like fifteen or something at the time. I go, yeah, yeah. I'll show you what you got. He goes, Here, twenty bucks. We'll give you two of these tie sticks. I'm like, all right. Uh, and <laughs> so me and my friends wandered off to the you know side side areas where the people aren't hanging out, right? And and smoked some up. And wow, <laughs> that was great. Oh, that was great. But you got to be careful uh, when, when you're getting weed that has other substances with yes, it. Yes, you do. This one motherfucker, this little this punk in high school. I, I don't even yeah. remember his name. Um, yeah. He was a guy. I never really liked him, but he said, "Hey, let you know during lunch. Hey, let's go out and get high." And I'm like, "All right, we'll go. We'll go. Oh, we'll hang, okay. hang out over here." Yeah. Well, his weed had PCP on it. Oh no! Yeah. Oh no! Yeah, that's, that's bad news, man. Horrible, horrible stuff. Yeah. Um, I, I, I could Jeez. feel, I could feel my brain burning on I that bet. stuff. So, uh, yeah. Wow. Yeah, not cool. <laughs> no, not cool at all. <laughs> and speaking of weed, now to me, weed is not a hallucinogenic substance. It can be. It can be for some people, I guess. Well, no, I, I mean. If you if you get the right strain and and you're True. at the right place in your mind, um, yeah, you could definitely hallucinate on 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 weed um, or sal salvia. Have you ever had salvia? No. Uh, no. Yeah, it's a salvia dentororum or something. It's you oh, can actually. Okay. I bought when I when I've got salvia, I bought it on eBay. Oh wow! Okay. Yeah, it's not it's not <laughs> illegal in most places. Oh okay. Um, Gotcha. And and it's not like weed at all. It kind of looks like loose leaf, homegrown uh, weed. Yeah. But okay. it's not at all um, like that. The high you get, it's, it's like instantaneous and lasts about five minutes. Oh, okay. And it feels really weird. Um, but my, <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 and I didn't like it enough to smoke enough. Uh, mm -hmm. To where I would hallucinate on it, but uh, supposedly, apparently, uh, with the salvia, you can. Um, uh, so okay, uh, yeah, sleep deprivation. Sure, that's great for hallucinations. <laughs> sleep deprivation too. will make you freaking nuts. Yeah, but I, I can't stay awake. Yeah. That, I can't stay awake that long. I'll fall asleep. Um. <laughs> yeah, I I have to sleep. I just can't go. Yeah, some yeah. people that. I don't know. I feel bad for people that have problems with sleep. I do not, so I'm lucky that way. Right. Yeah, I fall asleep really fast, generally. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm a good sleeper. Um, oh, maybe. Okay. I'm. I'm not. I'm not quite uh, narcoleptic or anything, but uh, I can pretty much no. sleep whenever I feel like it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. Anyway, I wanted to bring this up today. Mm-hmm. Okay. Because not only are these things great and um, will we'll give you understandings of the world around you. the for some people. Well, yes, yeah, <laughs> not for everybody, not, not, not every time uh, will, right. you, will you get there. But um, con considering the world that we're in, we're living in today, um, I, I think a lot of people would, could benefit strongly from a little psychedelic trip down the road uh, or through space or wherever it may be, wherever it may take you. And, right. um, and it's going to take you where you need to go. Um, you, you can't really steer it so much. Right. You can a little bit kind of, you know, say this, You have that. to be open-minded too. If you're going to, you know, you can't be scared or afraid or, you have to be open, but but uh, like the mushrooms, uh, yeah. With those, they can you can actually conquer your fear. Uh, Moose girl right. was, ta was talking about them being antidepressive, which is true. But yep. but but they can also take you to well, I guess in concert with that, to a happier place uh, in your head. Um, yeah. Instead of just saying, okay, well, this guy is depressed. This guy, but it 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 can, it can do things for you. They can. Uh, yep. Uh, they 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 can make you have a greater like open your mind. Yeah, they can they, expand they, they, your mind. They can give you a greater understanding of the real, and not the real right. that you see, not like this wooden desk here. Yeah, exactly. Or, um, right. Right. But but of the 
what you would think of as ethereal, uh, well, what you would think of as um, beyond yep. the natural realm. Yes, free your mind. Absolutely. Um, <laughs> yeah, they, man. They, these these things will help you free your mind. Um, uh, me personally, I I I I enjoy the LSD more than uh, than anything else. Um, mm-hmm. uh, but again, yeah, that's that's a, that's a thing you need to be careful with. Uh, I I I you know. Yeah. Uh, and and some people go way overboard uh, yeah. with uh, <laughs> this kind of stuff, man. Um, uh, I've heard. I've never met anybody that gets lost in in the. What do you mean? You, you know, from taking too many trips. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Um, but but I, I so I've never met anybody that that's happened to, and I I did a lot. Uh-huh. I, yeah. I I did a many. I mean, we, a lot. <laughs> okay. You know, at, at least every weekend for a few years. Um, yeah. <laughs> which is quite a bit. Yeah, um, I would say. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, well, you lived in California, and you had more access to it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Than I did. Yeah. Yeah. Living in Minnesota or whatever. Sure. Yeah, we could get it any any time. You know. Anyway. Yeah, you guys out there, you, it was available. Right. Yeah. So. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, it was terrific. <laughs> I'm sure it was. <laughs> did you ever trip and go to a music concert? I did, absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Just wonder, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I saw a priest? No, I saw the Ramones when I was on acid once. Oh, cool. Oh, which, wow. which, which, which the Ramones were a trip enough because nice. they, 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 they play in small venues and they're really loud. And, right. and and they're just <laughs> so. <laughs> cool. I'm like that was awesome. Yeah. Uh, oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Of course. And uh, and I think I saw also uh, Skinner. I saw Skinner on acid one time. Oh wow! Yeah. Okay. I, I mean, I saw Skinner several times as well. But um, one one right. of the, one of the times I was on acid. Not my first time because I was only like fourteen at that time. Yeah. <laughs> but I and, and I was shocked and amazed at that concert without any acid, because um, I was fourteen, and right. the, most of Hello. the <laughs> most of the Skinner fans were these big old burly biker dudes in there. Yeah. <laughs> right. and, so, and so I was like dwarfed, you know. <laughs> and I'm walking around. I was I was with this girl, first time going out with her, and. Uh, uh, trying to try to impress her there. <laughs> and it's like, yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway, so that that was fun. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, I know I should I should have took acid for the Stones, but I didn't. But uh, that, yeah, that, that that would have been good. That was that was a good show. Pat Travers and uh, oh, well, yeah, Blue Oyster Cult and uh, who else was there? Fog Hat maybe. Oh, cool. And, and the Stones. Uh, it was it was a big show. Um, but I, I didn't, I didn't, didn't get any that time. Um, <laughs> anyway, um, so, uh, my, my thought was that we can, uh, possibly like, um, uh, help people, um, by okay. letting them know that, uh, if you're having a tough time in life right now, I know some people are out there, uh, yeah. some people just aren't liking it. Um, and, and um. Try try some shrooms if you can find some. Um, it, it all depends, I guess, who you are and who you know, uh, of course, uh, as right. to whether or not you can find these things and you know maybe where you live. I guess if you live in uh, Oregon, uh, you could just go into the store and buy them. Um, I guess so. <laughs> but uh, in other places, you know, maybe you got kids that are teenagers. They probably know where to find these things. They might. You, you Believe may, it or not, they might know. You you may be uncomfortable approaching them about such things, <laughs> um, depending on <laughs> depending on your relationship with your children. Um, right. <laughs> well, but maybe you know somebody else. You know somebody at work that uh, well, that guy kind of looks like a head. I would be careful with people at work. Yeah, I, I would too. But you know, uh, you know, it depends. You know, on whoever it is. I, I, you got to be careful obtaining these right, things, regardless. True. Um, yeah. Uh, like I said, unless you're in Oregon, where you can walk into a store and buy them. Um, <laughs> which, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you could definitely uh, uh, 
improve your life, I would say. Uh, even if you do, do the microdosing, um, which you're not really going to be tripping out, but right. you're, but you're going to kind of go to a, a more soothing area within your mind. Uh, you're, you're gonna you're gonna be somewhere uh, that will help you be more comfortable with what's going on, and also to see through the lies because there's, right. there's there's so many lies going on out there at this point in time. Oh. I mean, it's a it's a constant barrage of lies, and it is. and and if if somebody's out there telling the truth, um, then they will get shut down. Uh, they they will. Yeah, they, they, they don't will, like that. Yeah, so they so, uh, don't like that. So with with a, with a, a little psychedelic um, side trip, um, it'll 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 help with all that. Uh, I know a yeah. lot of a lot of people are you know probably listening. Oh, this guy's just a druggie. He wants everybody. <laughs> 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 but I'm telling you, the 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 benefits the benefits um are are yeah. amazing. And, and the only real uh, drawback to doing acid uh, that I saw ever saw is is you will be exhausted the next day. Um, yeah. Generally speaking, depending. Uh, you, know, you know, depending on 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 how you do it and what you do, but uh, it, there's a good chance you'll you'll have a, a rough day the next day. Just just being tired, you don't get like headaches or no body you don't get, like, aches. A hangover feeling. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, feel no kind of tired. Yeah, yeah, no body aches or things like that. Um, and then you you've heard a bunch of people um, talk about flashbacks. That was one of the like scare tactics they use. Yep. That used to you be, know, or you'll jump off the fricking balcony. Right. Yeah. You'll think you can fly. Uh, yeah, and, you but know, some people did do that. They well, took that problem. They took too much or whatever, or they took something else with it or it was bad. Acid, right. Uh, because, yeah. because you could get bad acid. And I, I don't, I don't, need, I, you, I don't No, I would have no idea here in New Mexico where to get acid. Um, or shrooms, for that matter, or, 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 or really anything else, um, uh, except for weed, which um, was uh, legalized yesterday. Yeah, yay, New yay. Mexico. Well, uh, it's not quite legalized yet. Oh, okay. The governor has the, the the governor hasn't signed the bill, <laughs> but but being the fact that the governor called the special session to bring all of the legislators back to the Santa Fe to pass the bill, I'm pretty sure she's going to sign it. <laughs> I don't really have any doubt on that. Um, so so we'll have, we'll have the weed. Um, yeah. Are you there? Moose, did you mute? Oh, yeah, yeah, here I am. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. Sorry, I muted. Yeah. So anyway, anyway I, I have no oh. doubt about her signing it. Um, so, so right. that's a good thing. Um, cool. Is that, you know, yeah, you, you won't, you won't get busted. Wisconsin's you know? lame. We are lame. They, they legalized hemp. Sure. But not well, marijuana. And we don't even have medical marijuana here. Right. But then you have the problem. Well, not, the, the thing is, is we have a huge meth and heroin problem here though. And yeah. even like they give heroin and it's like methadone. Right. That's a drug too. That's Seri it's a like, serious drug. It's a bad yeah. It's a yeah, I mean if you or I took methadone, we'd be flying. Yeah. Yeah, that's And it, they don't know how to deal with this meth and heroin. Um and meth I mean, in my opinion, if if weed had been legalized or decriminalized a long time ago, right. people wouldn't have had to make meth. Yeah, but it's... Well, a, I mean, I mean there was, like, what is it called, Grim? Um, is it amphetamine? Amphetamines, I mean, yeah. Meth is an amphetamine. What, the, what they used to... The, the kamikaze used to be... Yeah, used. they they, they did, it's speed. It's all speed. Okay, amphetamine. Yeah, okay. You call it amphetamines because that's the technical term for it. But, oh, amphet okay, that's what I thought, yeah. Yeah, but, but yeah, the kamikazes did that so they could stay awake until they decided to dive bomb. And... It it does that messes with your head, but not in a good way. No, um. <laughs> I mean, and the, the, right? The high that it you get is a totally different high, and it's not a good one. And it, and the difference between like meth and shrooms, right? Is meth is very very addicting. 
you're not going to get addicted to shrooms like you would to meth or heroin. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It's not. It's they're not. You can't compare them because they're not no, the same. They're not the I mean? same. They're not the same. And, right. and I, I don't want to say that meth is all bad because it's not. But um, for it, it, for a lot of people, the they, way they're making it out there, though, Grim, it's really it's, oh, it's not. It, it's mixed with all that shit. You know. Oh, what I mean? Yeah. Well, it's but yeah, very disgusting stuff. Um, yeah, but however, Ajax and whatever. Ho- however, I used it several times, um, and I I never I could never understand how people could get addicted to it, because I guess I don't have that type. Well, of Well, maybe person. that was pure back then when you did it. You know, uh, now uh, it's all maybe. being homemade and. Well, I, I think it whatever, was all, always you know, always be... made. I think it was always made in very disgusting ways. Um, okay. But I, I think no, because I mean, I could never understand how people could get addicted to it, but I had a good friend that got very addicted to it. Uh, the, right. the, the same stuff I was doing. Um, uh-huh. uh, so, I mean, it's, it's a personality thing. Uh, I think some people have addic- yeah. addictive personalities. Um, and, yes. and some don't, and apparently I right. don't, I, I, I don't have that. Right. Um, it's like with Coke, you know, people, people, uh, they get addicted to that. Yeah, and and, and to me no. it was like, uh, you know, it's just not very good. I, I don't I don't really see the no. benefit of this. But but some... I'm not into like a speed buzz. That you know, doesn't it just never. I, I did it a couple of times and it just wasn't. I, I don't like it. Yeah. So in, anyway, um, if you're mm-hmm. yeah, you're listening out there at some point, um, stay away from the snortables and injectables. Right. <laughs> Good advice. <laughs> Who wants to put stuff right in their vein? What, yeah. What's wrong with that? Ugh. And if you if you do it up your nose, uh, it's gonna destroy the inside. Yeah, yeah. I mean that's that's not good stuff. Uh, so stay away from those things. Um, right. You, you know, if you can, if you should, you should uh, stay away from for benefit. Um, but but uh, but for as far as benefits, talking that way, yeah, I I think there's a lot of great benefit um, to hallucinogenics. Um, that that that. See, well, think of the alternative. I mean, you could do magic mushrooms, have a really fun time, yeah, learn some shit, help with your depression, or you can take one of these motherfuck you know prescription drugs that they give you for depression which actually makes people more suicidal and homicidal right you know and you and you don't have a sex life because it affects your sex life who that why would you want to be on that when you uh, could go on a mushroom trip a uh, couple yeah. times a year right and, I mean? and 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 if you you know are going to be right. ha- if you the, are their, gonna... their antidepressants are crap okay but, but, From what but i've seen they're they're junk okay if you if you are going to be having sex can't really beat yeah. mushrooms for that. Ah, having, <laughs> having sex while on mushrooms, man. Yeah, I've, <laughs> I got, I got a few stuff. times, Grim, for me. But, yeah, you're right. You, you, there's no denying it's, yeah, it's a little bit different. That, 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 <laughs> that, that, that's, that's the magic part. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, I mean, but, there's so many more benefits than taking the big harma. Right. Prescript drugs that it, people are committing suicide and homicide on them, and they don't help with depression at all. Right, and, and I was trying, I was going to get to that earlier when I was talking about the uh-huh. opium. Um, okay. Because the pure opium is good. Mm-hmm. It's fine. Right. Uh, and, and unless, of course, like anything else, you overdo it. Uh, mm-hmm. But you know what you don't want to do, but you probably won't, you know, anyway. But the crap that they're selling is opioids uh, through the pharmaceutical companies. Right. That, that's that, that's just that's not opium. And they're I mean, very addictive. There, there may be some opium in there, but um, uh, it, a lot of the stuff that's that's mixed in with it. See, if they just give you pure pure opium, then then you'd probably be okay. But they right. don't. They they mix all this crap together and make it bad. They make the good something good bad. Uh, right. So. Uh, well, that's the thing. Okay, let's say. All right. Opium that comes from the coca plant, right? No, it comes from the opium poppy. The opium poppy. Okay. No, but there's another the coca plant. That's for cocaine. That's what I meant. Cocaine. Yeah, it's cocaine, right? Yeah, I got I get them mixed up sometimes. Don't ask yeah. me why. Yeah. But anyway, um, I was 
a blackjack dealer in Minnesota mm-hmm. at a really big casino. And there was a lot of, like, um, Eastern Asian people that would go there, older women, older Eastern Asian women, right? Right. And they would have what looked like a tobacco chew in their lip, you know? Uh-huh. Like, in between, their, under their, in their chin or whatever. Right. And they were they were getting stoned. But I don't know exactly what it was. I think it was, like, opium, you know? But well, they could would it, could sit it, there and laugh and get high as hell. Could it could have easily been the coca leaves. Coca leaves, that's what I, I think it was. Yeah. yeah. And, and they and were getting stoned. I, I've seen, I've While seen, they were playing blackjack, these old women, and they, it, you, they'd they smile, and their teeth, they'd be black out in their teeth. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> they didn't I, care. <laughs> yeah, that definitely sounds like coca leaves. I, I, yeah, that's I, what it was. I, you know, I, it, it I, had to be. That's why I was like cocaine, opium. I was like, okay, what? Which was which was it again? <laughs> you yeah. know what I mean? Easily, easily. Uh, and anyway, so no, I've seen mm-hmm. uh, you know movies, uh, documentaries, whatever, of of mm-hmm. the, the farmers down in the coca fields down in South America, right. and and they're while while they're out there working, they just chew on a leaf all day, right? Um, and and yeah, See, and what I was, oh, what got me to that was. That chewing a cocoa leaf is a lot better than like snorting a line of coke because it hasn't been manufactured, you know, it's processed. It hasn't been manufactured or what or processed. You're right. Yeah. Right. So natural is better. I mean, natural is better. Almost, almost always, natural is better. Right for anything, not just drugs. Right, almost always. Natural is better. Yeah, almost everything is better natural. If, um, if you're gonna chemicals, can... I try to avoid as much as possible. <laughs> if, if if it's something you're gonna consume. It's better right. if, it, if, you, if it's coming right out of the ground or right off the animal. Um, right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, True. or off a tree, bush, whatever, you know. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah. Uh, uh, once once they start uh, processing stuff, uh, it becomes then it nasty. Gets, if they put all those nasty preservatives in there or whatever, you know, whatever they have to do. But they put stuff that's not good for you. I mean, I think, okay, a lot of people say the autism is related to the vaccines. Sure. Which I do believe there is something to that. Absolutely. But also, there is also something to the food that's marketed towards kids. Oh, of the course. The dyes that they use are horrible for you. And and, and, and it's all the HFCS. Uh, High fructose corn syrup. Yep, yep, yep that's, that's all in there and... And and then you know you you give your your kid first thing in the morning a big bowl of Captain Crunch or whatever with that uh, sugared cereal. Yeah, and they're fucking bouncing off the walls. They can't sit still in class. Oh, he's got okay. a he's got ADD. Let's give Put him, him some on drugs. Narcotics. Yeah, let's give let's give him this freaking Ritalin, which is speed. So you're creating druggies. Do you see <laughs> how that works? Yeah. If you put someone on a narcotic when they're four years old, I mean. You know what I mean? Right, right. I don't, I don't agree with that. Kids are naturally ADHD, and yeah, the, the, sure. the overdose of sugar and the overdose of the dyes and everything that can affect them to make them kind of nuts. You right, know? no, but, no question about it. No question about it. But um, to put a kid on a four-year-old on a narcotic is just wrong, in my opinion. I'm sorry, unless sure. it's for like epilepsy or diabetes, or you know what I mean. Yeah, but well, just because they're they can't pay attention, that doesn't work for me. Yeah, I, I don't, and I yeah. I don't know what they give to four year olds with epilepsy. But I used to date a girl, an epileptic girl. Uh huh. She would take four phenobarbital every day. Oh um, my god! And which one one of those would would knock me on my ass? Right. And, oh my god! But but she needed wow. it. She she right it, right. It made her. Well, I don't want to really call her normal. <laughs> she, <laughs> she she was a good girl, but for the most part, but uh-huh. uh, she she was always like there was a lack of uh, ups and downs there. Let's just put it that way. She okay. she she. she, she Floated along at a certain level, and oh, okay. uh, there, there was not yep. much variation from that. Gotcha. And, uh, uh, but, uh, I mean, and then we wonder why there is childhood diabetes or childhood cancers or whatever. Yeah. You know, and we let all this toxic stuff be sprayed all around us all the time. <laughs> people use Roundup. I mean, people get around here, they use yard services, and they're spraying these chemicals all over. Like, <sighs> 
you know, you have to think about what you're consuming and what you're doing. And Oh, yeah, no question. You know, I, I don't know. It, it's just, but if you take a trip, you'll be more apt to, like, realize that natural's better or you know you know what i mean it's a mindset thing too grim you know it, it is it is there's no question about it um but it, it opens your mind or whatever i i, I think i think you know? for i think for most people that mm -hmm. the um uh, those that have not are not experienced that have not been down the psychedelic road that have not yeah. fed their head uh, I think it would be highly beneficial to a great number. I, I, you know what? What else I think would happen uh, if uh -huh. if the bulk of people out there actually uh -huh. um, experienced some psychedelics, uh, mm -hmm. and you know, on, on, a, on a big major scale, I, I think well, we we they would stop thinking that you know all these laws and all this government crap. Um, uh, is a good idea, and they would start, you know, demanding uh, that that freedom. Freedom is the way to go. Uh, be, because I tell you, I, I, most of the people I yeah. know, most of the people I know that that have that have done that, they're they're not, you know, they're not these people out there wearing masks and waiting, begging to be injected with poisons. Um, uh, these these right. are these are people that understand true, yep. actual, real freedom. Um. Yeah. <laughs> I I think that the wave really? of the or part of what's going to happen is I think a lot of like office type jobs or even factory type type jobs are going to become more automated. Uh huh. Which I think is a good thing in a way if you think about it from the standpoint of now people can do what they really want to do. And you know what I mean? They'll be forced into that creativity or having to do your work for yourself type of thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does that make sense at all? Yeah. <laughs> go run, run through it again and. Like the uh, if 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 an office job or a factory job is more automated and they need less people working in those jobs, that gives people the opportunity to do other things for work is, you know, like make stuff or fix stuff or build, you know what I mean? Yeah. I think there's some good to that, but at the same time, it, there's some bad to it too. You know, I'm, you know what I'm saying? Sure. I hope you're not talking about me, Vinny. No, no, he's talking about Harry. Oh, okay. Uh, Harry, Never mind then. Camel to a Harry. My bad. Camel to a Harry <laughs> ass and, and Killery. Okay. <laughs> No, I don't know, Graham. Never mind. I was just thinking out loud, I guess. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's not cool. making sense. Oh, well, great. That's awesome to have a radio show and not make sense. Yeah, well, I, I, they, <laughs> it, <laughs> it, it, it's not uncommon to not make sense on the radio. Right. <laughs> I guess so. I'm not the first one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Anyway. Yeah, Vin. You're right. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no, I don't know. Uh, yeah, keep That's that, okay, Vinny. I'm uh, good. Keep keep I'm that good. keep that to yourself. Yeah. Don't be yeah. don't be flopping that thing around. Right. <laughs> Come on, no. Come on, man. <laughs> anyway, oh. um uh, the, the Okay, so you know how it is in your tripping room? Um yeah. On acid, and okay. you look in the mirror, and yeah. your eyes look all funky. Sure. Oh yeah, because your because your pupils are like monster. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're like you look in the mirror like oh yeah I'm tripping. <laughs> yeah, I'm there. <laughs> <laughs> and it's funny because for me like it takes about I don't know half hour forty minutes to kick in or something you know. Yeah. And as soon as I start saying I don't feel it yet, guess what? You feel it. I'm tripping. <laughs> it comes up. It comes up. And then it goes and goes and goes until you peak. And then you're going, woo! Right. <laughs> not, uh, not necessarily, uh, you know, it's, it's in your head. You're going, yeah, this is stuff. Right. Uh, but, but, oh, oh, and, and I'm sure you have, as I have. 
Uh, have, have you ever had bad mushrooms? And, and by bad, yes. I, I just mean they don't do anything. Yes, they, I have. They, they just, and it's just like, what? <laughs> yeah, you got ripped. Somebody ripped you it's off. Disappointing, dude. Oh, I tell you. Because you're sitting there, you're waiting, you're talking to your buddies, whatever. You know, right? talking, smoking some weed. And uh, and and that's it. That's, that's all you get. It's like, right. what the hell? But, you know, so I, I guess, uh, you know, just a con man out there, whatever, taking advantage of the... the... Yeah, I, I don't like those kind of people. They suck. Yeah, they suck, man. They do. They do. It's like, <laughs> screw you, dude. You know, you're not cool. <laughs> you're not cool. You're not. No, you're a jerk. Right, yeah. You're a thief but then, you know, jerk. if you're, oh, sorry, if you're in a, with a group of people or at a concert or something, uh-huh. you can tell everybody else that's tripping. <laughs> <laughs> sure, sure. <laughs> you can see it. <laughs> <laughs> and you just kind of look at each other with like this knowing, you know, Oh, yeah, I see you. You know what I mean? The, the psychedelic extrasensory perception. Right. <laughs> but it's pretty obvious because of your uh, pupils are like platters or whatever. Yeah, like yeah, platters. yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, no more you iris, really... all, pupil. Yeah. <laughs> all pupil. What? said no more iris, all pupil. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but I think that Joe Biden is on a dinochrome or something because his eye he's got that black eye thing all right no no, no no it's not mushrooms or lsd I'm ex- sure, explain but. explain to me this adrenochrome it's adrenaline okay and you haven't heard this no i've heard i've, I've seen people talking about it i don't know it's what it like is like the illuminati it's an illuminati thing dude and okay. they get it mostly from kids they get it from other people. They get it so, from. What do you mean they get it from? Yeah, they they harvest it from people, dude. Why do you, you know? It's all it's all tied with the human and sex trafficking and everything. So so where 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 how do they get it from a person? It's in their bloodstream. You have to scare them, and then they take the blood out of you. So it's just it's, in the blood. It's adrenaline. So it's it's not like you're going to the adrenal glands. No, I have to look it up, dude. Right. I, I, mean, I have I, a I've, basic I've, understanding of it. I mean, I'm not some expert. So. I, I've seen people in the chat talking about it, but I just never really looked into it. Cause, it's well, produced by the oxidation of adrenaline, epinephrine. So it's a speed. It, it, and uh, apparently it's... Uh, here's, a, here's an article from Wired from July 31st, 2020 about it. All right. I'll copy. I'll post that in the link. All right. Cool. Okay. Last one saying I'm right. Thanks, dude. Um, the dark virality of a virality of a Hollywood blood harvesting conspiracy, which I don't think it's a conspiracy. <laughs> you know. <laughs> well, whatever um, it is. Um, I, I, but I think it's very addictive, and I think it's it the it's keeping people like Kissinger, Prince Philip, Joe Biden. Queen Elizabeth, um, all the uh, all these old mother frickers that you know still have a lot of power, and that's how they keep them going. Well, when they oh Bill Clinton was on it, okay. Now I say was, look at him. Yeah, he he's looks not... like a walking skeleton. Look at Prince Philip; he looks like a walking skeleton. When it's it, when they take cut you off from it, you go to shit. Oh, okay, so. Yeah, that's my theory. I don't, you know, like I said, I'm not an expert, but I think Bill Clinton was on it. I think Hillary's probably still on it. The Queen Elizabeth is on it. Um, Kissinger probably. Yeah, you look. You, it, 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 it's not a good. It'll keep you looking and acting like you're normal. Uh-huh. Once you're off of it, oh yeah, it. Yeah. Well, I, I, I've I've never been invited to join the Illuminati. <laughs> Me either, <laughs> but. It, I mean, this is the, you know, when you think about all the human trafficking, and, and, and that's being controlled by the globalists, dude. They make they want to make it seem like it's some bad people out there that are doing this. No, it's them. Yeah. Well, I, it's them. I, 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 I guess it would be like, uh, you know, uh, for like a vampire. Um, right, right. As, as long as they're drinking blood, they look youthful. They, right. They look like whatever age they were when they were turned. Exactly. Uh, um, 
And yeah. and once they if if they can't get any blood for some period of time, you know, this is all the folklore, of course. Right. Because I I don't personally know any actual vampires. Um. <laughs> Apparently, Hunter Thompson here here's an article from uh, called the spin off from April seventh, twenty twenty. The truth about a Xenochrome. I'll put and they got a picture of Hunter Thompson there. So. <laughs> or Johnny Depp. No wait, yeah, Johnny Depp playing Hunter Thompson. Okay. Um. But 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 uh, so. Um, I, I guess it would be like that. Maybe maybe that's where the uh, vampire stories came from. Uh, that could be. Is, is, is these psycho weirdo right. controllers of the world uh, sucking people's blood. Um, yeah, oh yeah, that would yeah. not surprise me. Yeah, that's Johnny Depp. <laughs> okay, that would not surprise me. Yeah. So, um, and people are like, oh, no. It's like, <sighs> Right. Well, Why all the sex trafficking and everything? If they wanted to clamp down on that, Grim, they could. Oh, absolutely. They don't, though. Okay? Yeah. And there's a reason for that. And, and Hollywood is way involved. Sure. Hollywood is way involved. They're Hollywood, they're, it's Hollywood basically, all of Hollywood is Illuminati, basically. Yeah. I mean, and they've been doing bad things to kids for a long time. And everyone wants to glorify Hollywood. I don't glorify them as much as I used to. I'm just saying they're they're really shady. The music business is really shady. They're involved in the music, movies, the Illuminati. And I mean, look at this guy that released these devil shoes with a drop of human blood in them or something. Yeah. And they made 666 pairs of them. <laughs> yeah, and it's it's tied in with the satanic Illuminati crap. Yeah, he's a psycho. I, I mean, yeah, look what they did to Britney Spears. I mean, I could go on and on. Yo, oh, of course, there's an endless list. You, right, you can go back to Shirley Temple at least. Yep, and I'm sure plenty others at her time. The little and be, rascals and before her. Um, yep. So yeah. All right, folks. Well, I just wanted to bring up the uh, mm -hmm. the possible side roads you could take um, in order to improve Benefits. improve your life, improve your thinking, uh, right. make you connected to the universe instead of the world. Uh, mm -hmm. Not that you won't still be connected connected to the world because the world is part of the universe. Um, right. Of course. <laughs> you can't uh, really. Unless you die or are dead, right. you know, you're, but, you're but here. We, but so. but <laughs> a, a, as I say, it's all connected. Um, it's true. Uh, everything is connected. Uh, and, I knocked on wood, by the way. That was that. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> so so so, and you, if you free your mind, you'll begin to see a lot more connections, uh, right? Than, than what you see. Uh, yeah. If you just have the, the, the programming that you've been brought up with. Uh, right. And you're like closed minded and, or. Well, yeah. And, 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 and yeah. you know, uh, it, it's just it's. You have to. Uh, you don't have to do anything. Do whatever you want. Um, but, <laughs> <laughs> right. Be but, free in your mind. Yes. Free, free your mind. And right. the, you don't necessarily need a, an external substance to do that. You could do no. it through meditation or other other methods. Uh, right. Uh, but they help, and they'll they'll get you there faster. Uh, uh, especially acid, uh, LSD. Let's just just yeah. be specific to LSD twenty five. Um, so a anyway. Um, just, just kind of a thing. Don't you know? If you're, if you're not feeling mentally stable, and I think people that aren't know who they are. I, I, right. I don't, I don't know that for sure. Maybe, I hope. maybe some that are don't. I don't know. But uh, anyway, yeah. Um, uh, just, just a little free your mind, helpful yeah. PSA, hour long PSA. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, folks. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. Uh, yep, thanks. And we'll, we'll be back next Thursday, hopefully, uh, barring any whatevers. And um, I guess that's all. Uh, yep. I don't, Vinny's not on tomorrow, I'm pretty sure, he said. So I don't uh, think so. Check check the schedule on RealLibertyMedia.com or RLM yep. Radio, RLMRadio.xyz for all the shows coming up. 
And, um, yeah. Have a great everything. Yeah. Peace.